let's just say that you actually launched your business line of credit last week. Okay, it's been a few days now and you are thinking already about where do I get the funding that I need, like a business line of credit, right? So in today's conversation, what I want to do is I want to show you actually some hacks that you need to implement right away, right away, not yesterday, not tomorrow, right away. If you are trying to get a startup business line of credit, as soon as you launched or a few days after you launched. So here is the overview that I really want you to pay attention to. The first thing is if you are trying to, to actually position your business or to position your startup in, under the right sort of a, under the right light when it comes to a, a lender, ask yourself, are you looking for a revolving or non revolving line of credit for your startup business? The thing is, a lot of folks believe that when we when we hear the term startup business line of credit, it has to be revolving. No, 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 no way, Jose. Sometimes you can have a non revolving line of credit. So let me just quickly break it down for you. When we talk about a revolving line of credit, that's what you that's what everybody knows, right? That's like a that's like a keen similar to a credit card, a business credit card for that matter. So basically, the bank or credit union or or lender it can be an online lender, it could be a tradition, it can be a, an alternative lender such as uh, Kalamata Capital or an online lender such as Blue Vine. It can be a bank such as Chase. It can be a credit union such as Navy Fed. So they basically actually, they actually uh, give you access to cash. So that's called a revolving line of credit. In other words, when you tap into the, to, you tap into the line, the line replenishes itself as soon as you pay it back. So if you pay it back, it's kind of similar to a credit card. So if you pay it back, you, you constantly have access to the same amount of cash. So that's for the revolving part. If you have a non-revolving part, that means that if you have a non-revolving line of credit, that means once you use the cash, the, the cash does not replenish. You have to, once you pay it, that's it. So be very clear. If you want to get a business line of credit for your startup soon after launching, make sure that you are clear about the revolving versus non-revolving line of credit. And which one is right for you? Well, I can't answer that question because I, I don't know your industry. I don't know your geography. I don't know the the, the the fundamentals of your business. I don't even know if you have uh, if you have cash. I don't know. I haven't looked at your uh, your beginning balance sheet. I don't know if you, your cash amount. Okay, so I don't know your strategy. Now, one thing I do know for sure is are the steps you need to follow, and uh, so. First thing first, so if you want to apply for a startup business line of credit, as soon as uh, you launch, make sure you have a few documents and those documents are going to help you a lot because son, daughter, hey, 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 don't forget to have your personal and business tax returns. Your personal returns, your 1040 for the, la your 1040 for the last three years, 1040 for the last three years. And uh, if, you're, if your startup has actually filed uh, its first year of or half a year or mid year, uh, biz, let's say tax return, your 1065, 1120S, 1120, then you can have that also. Make sure you have uh, your financial statements, okay? And uh, it's really important to understand that when we talk about a startup business line of credit, the lender really understands that they need to monitor your financial position on an ongoing forward, an ongoing um, nature. Like they, they need to make sure that you have a going concern you know, so that's why they're looking at your 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 business checking accounts. They're looking at your financial statements. They are looking at your your uh, your business registration documents because again, they got to make sure that you are legit. I mean, you know, like in this economy, you'll be surprised. People talk to me. You know, you never know. You never know. One one day you have a bank that's standing. The other day the bank is filing for bankruptcy. Who knows? One day you have a company that's like like a legit business. No one in the community, everybody knows them, everybody loves them. Before you know it, they close shop. Okay. That's why lenders really want to care about. Hey, listen, is this business really legit? Okay. What about your credit? Boss, talk to me about that. Where are you at right now on the credit spectrum? That's one thing you have to, you have to pay attention to. What kind of revenue are you anticipating? What industries are what industry are you in? Industry or industries are you in? So the, here we're talking about what we're talking about revenue. We're talking about business model monetization. We're speaking about your revenue projections. Those are really important. So big decision time, big decision time, boss. Do you at least have a business plan? Do you have a like 
business licenses and permits in your industry? Do you have a set of financial projections? Those three things, do you have them? You got to have them, boss. You got to have them. I want to talk to you, by the way, welcome back to the show. It's really a pleasure to have you here. And, uh, we know we love having these conversations and it's really wonderful to, uh, that you have decided to join us. Really love it. One thing I want to say here is that when we talk about a startup business, not a credit, you need to understand that it's not just about, Hey, I want to have access to a, a source of cash because you never know. Yeah. You, you, you never know. I mean, again, in, in this economy, even the wall street journal is saying that a lot of, uh, the wall street journal of all institutions, of all publications is saying that large businesses need to have access to a line of credit so if large industry if large institutions if large companies need a business line of credit what about the smaller ones everybody needs to have access to pure cash you know why because even if you have even if you have a revenue you have a you have a clients some clients don't pay you after 30 days they'll take their time because they know you need them you can't force them to pay you i mean you could force them but you don't want to force them okay you want you, you don't want to be in uh in a, in an antagonistic relationship with your customers right so because you have the chasm you have that gap between when the customers are paying you and when uh, you have to pay your bills you have to you have to make payroll and all that kind of stuff that's why you need the business not a credit so the business not a credit allows you to have a steady cash flow pattern okay you are able to have a, a stable financial history this is kind of important this is why a lot of lenders when it comes to uh, start a business not a credit especially after you launch they want to pay attention to the founder's experience. Like, have the founders uh, been uh, involved in uh, previous businesses? What was what was the longevity of those businesses? Okay, so money, 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 money. Boss, what is your personal financial situation? Talk to me about that. Are you stable? Are you just chilling, monetarily speaking? Or are you just kind of like scraping by? What is your situation? Because I understand your startup is, is a startup. So your startup is broke. But what about yourself? What about you? Are you chilling or are you scraping by? This is kind of important because the lender is going to ask you. Because if the lender realizes that your startup is broke and you yourself are broke, whew, that's a big, that's a bad, bad combination. Bad combination. Now, let me just quickly talk to you about I first want to remind you of today's topic. We're having a conversation about startup business, not a credit. And I'm giving you a few credit hacks that you, you can implement soon after launching. Okay. Now, how do you qualify? How do you qualify for such a, uh, a business, not a credit? The thing is that one thing that's really important is uh, your business plan. And the business plan, you got to talk about the SWOT analysis, you know, strengths, weaknesses opportunities and threats you know why because in this economy lenders are kind of concerned they are cons concerned about the trends in your industry i mean everybody understand that you are a startup okay you know you know you know i just started three months ago i okay you know but the business plan is is there to show them that, hey listen this entrepreneur has thought about their business plan has thought about the business model has thought about their competitors he has actually a, you know, envision a strategy to sort of navigate, you know, the treacherous waters that the, the economy is, is actually going to throw at them. And so when we talk about having the trains, the trains are really important. So the sector trains, the overall state of the economy. Okay. And how do you qualify? A business plan is important. Your uh, bank statements, bank statements at the personal level, but also at the business level. This is really important. Now, make sure that your credit, your personal credit is also strong. If you remember, I was just asking you, how is your financial situation personally be? I mean, how is it? Uh, how is it? Are you broke or are you are just chilling? Same thing for your credit score. So your credit score, where are you, boss? Talk to me about that. I mean, I, you know, are you just like somewhere in the basement, like 300, 400, or are you just like, you know, chilling around 700? Those are elements that will help you really get the type of startup business line of credit that you are looking for soon after launching. See, we're not talking about having a startup 
and then you wait for nine months or one year to get a business line of credit. We're, we're talking about you launched yesterday and you want a business line of credit today or tomorrow, like real fast. You need the cash real fast because you need to actually finance your company's growth, your new business's growth. You need to actually have the cash to make payroll. You need to get the cash to actually avoid the kind of uh, downturn that we have, we currently have in the economy and that we'll probably have in the future, right? So cash is king or queen, as they say. One thing I want to say here is that when we talk about a business line of credit, you need to understand one thing, one thing, a business line of credit is an important element. Yes, but it's not, it's not the only source of funding. So I don't want you to really, uh, go gung ho on me and say, you know, and really feel desperate. Like, you know, I try to get a business line of credit for my startup and I couldn't get anything with blah, 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 just all pissed off or whatever, discouraged. Stop that. Stop that. If you are listening to me right now and you are you are going desperate because you have tried a couple of business lines of credit and you did not get it, you did not get them. I'm here to actually offer you a ray of hope. And that ray of hope is what? The ray of hope is that, hey, listen, you did not get approved for a business line of credit for your startup. That's fine. That's fine. You know why? Because there is a constellation of business financing options. You have small business loans. You have business credit cards. You have merchant cash advances. You have invoice financing. You have uh, equipment financing. You have a lot of things, boss. You have bridge loans. You have uh, so you even you can even raise funding through uh, crowdfunding. So what I'm trying to say here is that no hope. Now people say you know people sometimes say all hope is not lost. I'm here to tell you no hope is ever lost anyway in the first place. As long as you equip yourself with, with knowledge, okay, it's all about empowering yourself with knowledge. I want to go back to the origins, go back to what I said, business plan, financial projections, credit score. As soon as, as long as you have those, you are able to actually get financing. Maybe not uh, the business line of credit that you get that you wanted to have, but you can probably have, for instance, invoice financing, let's say you have a like you were able to land a big contract, but the customer is telling you, hey, listen, I'm not going to pay you in 30 days. I'll pay you in 90 days. So what do you do? You know, you've already uh, you have, you've already provided the service, but you need to, su to survive. You need to uh, pay your employees. This is when you go to a uh, factor, an accounts receivable factor, and you sell the invoice to them. One thing I also want to say here is I want to, by the way, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. I'm talking to you about startup business line of credit, and I'm giving you a few hacks that you can implement right away after uh, launching so you can get the cash that you need to survive in the first, in the first critical, the first crucial three to six months that every startup has to go through. Okay. And uh, so when we talk about this type of product, it is an, it is, it is an interesting product. Why? Because it allows you to survive in the short term, but also in the long run. So this is why lenders are very adamant. They're very thorough. They're very granular when it comes to uh, looking, looking into the documentation that you provide. Okay. And usually they will ask you for uh, basic personal and business information. Let's talk about the personal information. So they will want to have your personal and contact information, like your home address, your, your residence and whatnot, your name, first name, last name, your social. Okay. They'll ask for personal and contact information for all business owners. So if you happen to have, let's say a multi-member LLC or multi-member S corporation, the lender will ask for the personal and uh, contact information for all those uh, founders or owners. You need to have a form of ID. Don't forget your EIN. This is important. This is actually a staple in all business, business, uh, financing arrangements. Okay. So your EIN, your employer identification number. And uh, so lenders will also ask you to have a voided business check. So the thing about the voided business check is that it allows the lender to, to know exactly where you are, where your business is domiciled in terms of banking. Because if you don't have a, a if you don't have a bank account as a business, you aren't going anywhere. <laughs> You're not going to get a business line of credit that that's for sure. Okay. And, and, and one interesting thing that we have been advising our clients to do lately is that you can actually open a bank account 
the same institution where you are trying to get a business line of credit. It could be a bank, it could be a credit union, or it could be an online lender such as uh, Bluevine, for example. Bluevine is a fintech and they actually came up lately with uh, a new account, a new business bank account. So you can open an account with them. So you can actually uh, borrow from them and also uh, deposit your cash with them. It's just fantastic. It's a win, 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 win situation for everybody. Okay. And don't forget also to have your, your, your business licenses or permits also. Now, let's just, let's just address an important element here. How do you actually qualify or how do you qualify for an unsecured business line of credit? The thing is that if you are a startup, and I think I've made it clear throughout this conversation that some lenders, if not all lenders, they're kind of scared of you. Like they're thinking, you know, you, they can't get their cash back because, because of, of the probability of you going bankrupt within the first three years. That probability is really high. Especially when the when the economy is going through some yo-yo, you know, lenders are kind of scared. Like they're they're scared like shh for real. And uh, so, if you want to qualify for an unsecured business loan of credit, you're gonna to have to provide some uh, some quote unquote guarantees. You don't have to provide a personal guarantee, but you're gonna to have to beef up. You're gonna to have to uh, strengthen your uh, your application. So you want to look at things like time and business. Okay, so. Uh, Lenders will ask minimum six months in business. So if you are a startup, technically, if you are nine months old or 11 months old, you are technically still a startup. So the actual definition of startups is actually less than uh, less than a year old. So if you are having a business for less than a year, you are still technically a startup. So and uh, the lender will ask for your credit score and history at the personal level, though, at the personal level, they want you. They just want to make sure that you are clean. OK. So I think I've said this before that it's very complicated, very, very complicated to get a business loan of credit real fast, real fast. If you have bad credit, you can get it if you're not pressed for time. Yes. If you're not pressed for time, if you're if you're able to wait three months or three weeks, you'll get it. You, you'll get it eventually. And uh, we have covered this on other shows. There are ways to actually get this business not a credit for your startup if you have bad credit but if you have good credit things are a lot easier things are faster too okay so uh, so i really want you to really so if you're listening to me right now you want to really uh, take care of this hack you want to implement this hack real quick make sure that you have a good credit and one thing i also want to say here is that it's really important that you got to think about your financial projections financial projections are really important because they allow you to tell the lender hey listen my startup is uh, my startup has potential like it may be a, a startup i don't have actual revenue but i do have projected revenue and if those projections turn out to be true chances are i'll make some serious cash so financial projections are really important okay do not underestimate the, them and and also one thing i think i've said this before the business plan is going is going to help you a lot business plan is really important and uh, don't forget also the industry trends, things that are happening in the industry. Those are really, really important. And uh, one thing I want to say to close to this conversation is uh, the financial history of all the founders. So the founders must have a clean financial history. Nothing complicated, but nothing like disastrous, like, you know, a bankruptcy or a lien, a tax lien and whatnot. <laughs> Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I was just talking to you about how to get a startup business not a credit soon after launching. I'll give you a few hacks here and there. And uh, God bless you. I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous. <laughs>